This video is going to be an explanation of what to do when you start your computer and you get this time and date not set, the system time is invalid. This may be the result of a loss in battery power. Set the correct time and date using your operating system. If this message persists, you may need to replace the onboard battery. Now, I can tell you that I haven't replaced this battery since I got this computer probably four years ago. And if you don't want to replace the battery, all you need to do, start the machine up, go into the time setting, and set the correct time and date. A lot of times if you don't do that, your antivirus software and everything else is just not going to work properly. So it makes sense just to get the battery. I believe it's a CR2032. So let me show you what you need to do. Hey, if my videos help you, a thumbs up, subscribe, or a like. If you want to donate to my channel, ask for my PayPal info. And if you have a product that you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I'll do the review. So let's open up the PC now. There's the computer. You just open up your case and you look around and you'll see a round battery. I'm going to try to get that so you can see it properly. And I'm going to be taking that out. So the plus side, I think it's a, I think you can see it's a CR30, plus a 3032, I can't really see it right now, but the plus part is going to be on the top when you insert the new one, you can see the plus over there. And all you do is you carefully remove the battery. I'm going to pull the power plug on this thing now. Use caution when you're doing this because you still have power inside the circuits even after the unit is unplugged. You're not going to hurt yourself. You shouldn't hurt yourself. If you do kill yourself, I am not responsible for anything in the video. So, there are just a couple clips on the side of the battery holding it in and it should easily come out. Um, you might want to put the case on its side if it's easier. So I'm going to remove the battery and then I'll show you what it looks like. There's the battery, a CR2032. Okay, I had the name wrong. And these things last a long, long time. Let me show you what I needed to do. Would have been almost impossible to show you on video because I couldn't get my hands in here without blocking the video camera. So there is a little spring piece over there down on the bottom of this battery holder. See the battery holder? There's the spring piece where my nail is. All I did is I pressed downward on it and it popped out. I know the lighting should be better, sorry about that, but um, again all you're going to be doing is pressing on the little tab, the battery will pop out, and you're going to do the same thing, you're just going to push it and it's going to go back in for the new one. There's the battery, the new one, I buy these in a package of about five, you can buy any brand, it really doesn't matter. And there are some other batteries that are about the same size. I don't know if they would really work. Usually it's, uh, they probably will, but the CR2032 is just a standard battery used in a lot of stuff. A lot of uh, electronics, alarms, computers, and uh, even diabetic test equipment. So I'm going to take out the battery and pop it in. A bit of advice, be careful with these batteries, throw them away right away. Uh, dogs like to swallow these things and then they need uh, surgery to get them out. Kids like to pick these up, so you just really need to be careful. Can I prop this thing up and show you how this is done? Maybe not. I'm trying to find out where the, there it is. So I've got the new battery. All I'm going to do is try to see what I'm doing. Let's take the battery and push it in there. You're not even going to be able to see it. Because I can't see it. I can't even see what I'm doing. You heard it snap in place. It just, you just press on it. You put it over the socket and press and it goes in and it's seated. Remember again that little spring on the bottom is what's holding it in. So it's perfectly flat right now. And I'm going to look like a fool if, I, if this thing doesn't start up. Plug in your power cord, and if it doesn't start up on its own, then press the button. Uh, I'm going to look like a fool if this does not fix it. And I don't want to do that. Okay, so we are uh, counting up the memory over there. I don't ever remember seeing that screen before. 
and it's going really slow, so I'm kind of worried. I cleaned the place up, I switched uh, computer stands, and got rid of the massive table that I had that was just disgusting and caked with dust behind it because I could not get behind there and clean it. So after that, I booted the thing up. Wow, this is really slow. I just don't remember taking this long. So I'm a little bit worried right now. The only good thing is that when it started up, I didn't get that message 163 time and uh, battery, so I don't really boot this thing up that often. I'm not really sure what is supposed to happen here, but I don't have that battery message, and very good chance I'm going to have to go in the t time setting unless it connects to the internet and then sets the time automatically. So I'm going to wait for this thing to finish booting here. A lot of memory testing going on there. Hmm, I might have had this turned off in the beginning. But uh, we're almost done. And I don't like to shut off my videos because the longer the video, the better. And then we can put more ads on there, right? And then everybody can complain, why do you have so many ads? Wow, this is really taking a long, long time. So, uh, yeah, I love my videos to go viral. It would be neat if a video got like 10 billion views, but it's just never happened with me and I don't know why. Um, God, this is taking a long time. I'm very concerned now. Still counting up the memory. I turned it off for a minute. This is a really old computer. I'd love to buy a new one, but I'm not really sure I've got the money to do it. And nobody's donating to my channel, so can't really make uh, videos fast, but that's life. You can't really ask for things. Even though everybody on the news has a uh, GoFundMe page. Hey, not me. So, wow, how much memory do I have in this thing? Yeah, it never took this long. Of course, I put a chunk of memory in here. What did I put in, like six gigabytes or something? Eight gigabytes? This is not good. This could take forever. This video could actually exceed 10 minutes. And I'm just trying to show you how to put a battery in. And people are going to get really angry and say, why did you make your video so long? You could have done that in 10 seconds. Uh, the comments that us creators get with our videos. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. A lot of people thank me. Lots of people thank me for my videos. Other people thank me and say, great video, why did it take so long? Great video, why didn't you have better lighting? Great video, why didn't you do this? Great video, why didn't you take it offline? Other people say, terrible video, or they leave really rude comments that I have to report. So, you just never know what's going to happen when you go out of your way to make a video for people. Da -na 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 -na. Unbelievable. See, I've got a boot menu. I could probably go in there and press a button to stop this, but... Yeah, this is, this is, I start this machine all the time. This has never happened. Oh, I know why, because I disconnected the battery, and so the CMOS lost the thing, lost the info saying, uh, don't do a memory check. That is what's going on. Oh, my gosh, you're going to have to sit here and watch this thing count all the way up to about 8 gigabytes? All right, people, I wish I had the tripod so it would make it easier for me while... You have to watch this. Nope, tripod's in the other room. At least I'm getting my memory checked. I don't remember ever doing this. Okay, so I'm standing up, make it a little easier. Been on the floor, like I said, cutting, uh, switching out wires, cable tying wires, trying to clean this place up because it was an absolute mess. So, we got a long way to go, a long way to count. Am I only halfway through? Why does it say, oh yeah, okay, that's right. That's three, 3.7 3 meg, uh, or three, 3 gig. What am I saying, 3.7 gig or 3700 meg. Okay, that's, that makes more sense. I think I can press escape and make it advance. Do I want to do that? I pressed escape and nothing happened.
system options not set. Your config has changed since last boot addition on your hard drive or loss of power to the real time clock has occurred. Press F1 will record the new configuration if this message persists. Build the following. I get 8 gigs CD-ROM. Alright, so I think I want to do what did it say? Press uh, yeah, I want to save the changes. All right, we're doing good so far, people. We are doing really good. That worry. Okay, there's that message. Now it wants me to. Now it wants me to set the time. So I'm going to boot it now. Now we're booting. And this is the normal boot. This is normally what I see. All this junk over here. And then I'm going to go in there and do my password. I know I got the same message starting the time and the boot, but uh, I know the battery was dead. You don't get that message just because you unplug your PC. So I got the message telling me the battery was dead. I put on a new battery, and then I got the message again saying that everything had been reset and I need to put in the time. Yeah, this is mostly the same on Windows, on all the Windows things, XP. What was the other one that was XP that was Windows? Windows 10, Windows 7. Is there millennia? Oh, I can't even remember. Wow, I, I totally forgot that other one. It was Windows 3.1, Windows, well, I think, 1. It was a Windows 3. Point something. No, 2, I think, for the uh, Microsoft. What was that PC they came out with? IBM came out with it. Now I'm going to look in the bottom and see what happens here. Very awkward having this new table and the new mouse located differently. And the, what do we have? One, there we go. See, that is what I was talking about. So nothing's going to work right because the time is all screwed up. I want to make sure that I connect on the internet. One three nineteen eighty eleven oh eight p.m. Definitely incorrect because the date is. August 27, 2018 at 12.23 p.m. Am I going to get a boot up here? Nothing's really booting up. I've got my icons on there, but I have nothing booting up showing uh, what's connected, the internet, uh, the internet connection. So the speaker is disconnected. I don't know why. Maybe because I disconnected the battery, and so it's got to detect everything again. That could be it. Not a surprise if that is what's going on. Just got to be patient, wait it out. I do have speakers connected. I did disconnect them. They might, no, they're plugged in. They're powered up. So, but it's USB, so it might be detecting everything all over again. Just got to wait this out. I know everybody's watching the video. Nobody wants to turn, down, turn off a video. Nobody ever wants to turn off a video. So what do we have here? We just have the speaker. We have desktop. We have absolutely nothing else. Um, yeah, this is... There we go. That's what I was waiting for. No speakers or headphones are plugged in. I'm waiting for that little wheel, which means that it's doing something. It's loading stuff up. It's looking for things. Still looking at the desktop. Bop, bop, bump. I've got all my icons. I just don't have everything down in the bottom right, and that is what you want. So you just have to be patient and wait it out. Let everything load in. I might have lost my internet connection. Now the modem shows that I've got a connection. I might have to reset all the uh, routers. But I should be getting my other things down here, my internet, uh, my internet icons, and I don't have any of that. There we go. Now we are getting the, uh, 
antivirus software. I just opened up the browser, no connection. It's a very slow loading of all of this. You know, the browser shows your connection is not secure, report errors. And the reason that is the case is because of the time. The time is the most critical thing. Nothing's going to work until the time is set. Or nothing's going to work properly until the time is set. Everything is tied up, so I'm going to go in here and change the time myself. I think that's going to make a big difference once I get everything updated. So as I said, we are at August 27th. Let me see if I can click on the year. No. August 27, 2018. And it didn't even take it. Unbelievable. Okay. So let's go change the date. doesn't want to let me change anything. Change time and date. I'm go back in here and do this again. I would think you could click on the year, but it won't let me. Yeah, the machine's totally locked up. It does not do anything at all. It's got to be the time problem. Now it worked. I clicked on the date again and it gave me uh, the year. So change time. Am I even connected? Still not connected. I've showed the right time and changed date and time. I have a dog sitting right next to me. Hello, sweetheart. There's my little buddy over there. My little rescue dog always wants to be in my videos. I love you, girl. All right, let's see if I can set the time manually. 12, oh wow. Is it already connected to the internet? Because it just did the time automatically. Let's do internet time and see if I can please update your... Well, this is... Oh, okay, that's my... Oh, I must be on the internet. Oh, here we go. Check that out. Okay, I changed the time. All of a sudden, I got the thing from my printer. My printer wants me to do an update. I should be on the internet. I should have a bunch of other icons here, which I don't. So I'm going to go to internet time and I'm going to let the internet do the time set for me. Yeah, I clicked on the internet thing and I let it do the time update for me so it's set the right time. So I am on the internet right now. Everything looks good. I'm going to do apply down at the bottom to get all my info applied. Time was set right. Let's see if I can do an update on my printer. Wants me to do a printer update. And that is a good thing if it happens. Time set. I'm going to have to reboot. I'm able to get on the internet now that I changed the time. And I'm updating my antivirus and my printer software. But I should have a bunch of icons down on the bottom showing that the connection is there. And I've got absolutely nothing. So I'm going to reboot.
make sure that I get the, uh, the icons down in the bottom right, and then I'll finish off the video. There it is, everybody. Booted up the machine. I got the correct time now. I rebooted the machine. And I've got all the icons there, and I didn't get the message asking for the time, and it saved the time. So that is how you fix that message when you get uh, the thing that says you need to replace the battery. Thanks for watching. Sorry, the video. Well, I'm not sorry. The video is long. Thanks for watching. Everybody, all right. I already did a video about this maybe a year ago. It's got like 39,000 views. So lots of people have problems with this thing, and I am going to make another video. This is for if you get this message, let me show you over here. I'm going to go over to the speaker. You get this message over here that says, sorry, it's not focusing well. No speakers or headphones are plugged in. And if you try to do any of that, you still, if you do anything, you end up getting this message over here. It wants to go in and... wants to go in and do this plain audio thing. It wants to try to figure out what's going on and fix it, and it can't fix it. So there are a few things that could be causing this, so I'm going to show you how to do it. I know a bunch of people complain. They say, if I can't hear with my audio, how am I supposed to watch the video? Well, go find another computer and listen to the video, uh, or just try to figure it out by what I'm doing. And if you have that problem, you can't hear what I'm saying now. So, um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to reboot the machine and go into the BIOS. Now, a lot of people, I'm assuming that you can hear this, because if you can't hear this, then you can't hear it. But a lot of people say, well, how do I get into the BIOS? Boot your machine, look on the screen. There's normally something really fast on the screen that will say something like uh, BIOS or setup F10, F12, F12. Uh, if you can't figure it out, then go look up on Google, go do a search on your brand of computer, Dell, HP, or whatever it is, and find out what the BIOS button is the, on the keyboard, and that's what you need to press. So the minute you reboot the machine, you hold that button down, and it should kick you into the BIOS screen. Uh, if you reboot, and after it's booted, you press that key, it's not going to do anything. You've got to do it right after the machine, after you press the power button, uh, so you got to be pretty quick or right after you see that message on the screen. So this video is going to be really long because all my videos are long, because all my videos are long. So uh, I'm going to go and reboot this thing now. And I'm going to go into the BIOS screen. Okay, we are re shutting down and rebooting now. Hopefully you can see, I don't even remember if it's F12 or F10 on mine. But you should see something on the screen really fast. Could be F1, F2. Or F3, F4, F5, F6, F7, F8, F, uh, nothing yet, nothing yet, nothing yet. I don't see it. Um, boot, F10. Oh, did I miss it? I think it said F10 setup. I missed it. Okay, so I'm going to go and reboot again, which is not a good thing to do. But one of them said setup, I think F10, and the other said something F9 down at the bottom. Um, F10, I believe it was setup. I want to go into English. I do these videos to help people, you know, they're not the easiest thing to set up. I do it to help people, so do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like. It helps out my channel as a creator. If you want to donate to my channel, ask for my PayPal info. If you want to leave a donation, uh, that would be awesome. If you have something you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I'll do the review. So what you want to do is you want to go through all these uh, things on the top and try to figure out what you're looking for. Uh, in my case, I don't need storage, I don't need security, I'm not looking for power boot up. I'm looking for advanced. So you can see how it's highlighted at the top file. So I'm going to press my arrow keys on my keyboard. There's the left and right arrow keys. Storage, I don't want that. I don't want security. I don't want power. But I do want advanced. So we're at advanced and we have power on options, BIOS, power on onboard devices, PCI bus, uh, I don't even remember which one I want. I don't know if I want bus options or device options or onboard device. Let's let's go try onboard device. I don't want that, so I'm going to press escape. I don't want that. I want PCI devices. 
press any key I don't want PCI devices bus options I probably want device options let's try device options device options this is what you're looking for okay this is probably gonna save a lot of people a couple hundred dollars getting their computer fixed and that's why you should uh, want to donate to my channel but you won't so integrated audio you see that now this computer has an integrated audio on the on the uh, motherboard like most of them do and it also has an internal speaker but if we look over here we see that it says integrated audio is just disabled you can't do anything if it's disabled so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the arrow key down okay you see I'm doing the arrow up and down key on my keyboard see how it moves that so I'm going to go over to integrated audio help out other people if you want to if you uh, want to type in the uh, if you want to help out by typing in the uh, what is that the closed captions for people uh, there's an option if you want to uh, listen to what I'm saying and type it in and then it gets approved that will help people that uh, need the closed caption so integrated audio shows disabled over there where the arrow is and I'm gonna press I think I'm supposed to press uh, what do I need to press um, I'm gonna press enter on the keyboard and see what happens that didn't do anything so I'm gonna press the right arrow key all right, there we go. Okay, I'm going to press the right arrow key and it goes enabled. Let's see where the arrow is. I'm going to press the left. It goes disabled. I'm going to press the right again. It goes enabled. So that's what you want. And then over here it says F10 accept. That accepts it. And then down at the bottom, okay, so it's accepted my change. Let's go click on device options really quick and we can see how integrated audio has been accepted. So I'm going to click the escape key to get out of here. Now I'm going to click escape again on my keyboard uh, sometimes you might have something down on the bottom that tells you how to exit out of this usually it's just escape so I'm going to do escape and there we go save changes and exit or ignore changes and exit or apply defaults and exit well I want to save the changes and exit that I put in there so I'm going to save then I'm going to press my enter key and then it's going to reboot now that might fix the problem because the internal everything is going to be working it might not it might need to have drivers installed it might need to figure out where whether it's doing the H uh, DMI speakers uh, the regular speakers the headphones so hopefully this fixes it I'm gonna click enter are you sure you wanna save changes make sure you press the right button on this one it's F10 so I'm gonna press F10 saving changes and now we're going to reboot and all I can hope is that that's going to make this work. So I'm going to shut this off and come back after I do my password. Get the password plugged in. Hit the enter. Now, if this solves the problem, I'm not going to continue on with the video. And what I would suggest if you don't get audio at that point is go look at my other video on my channel. And it will walk you through the, uh, if you need to do a driver update or if you need to switch the default speakers to make this thing work but I'm hoping everything's gonna work I just heard Whoop. what am I saying I'm hearing the window sound I just fixed it I'm amazing I'm incredible I have saved people billions and billions of dollars with this fix just now so that's what it was the reason that happened you can see the speakers no longer show speaker 20 percent clicked over there speakers gonna come up the reason that happened is because my battery on the BIOS died and I just did a video on how to change the battery on the BIOS so if you have this problem where everything every time you reboot you lose your speakers go watch my video on how to change the BIOS battery so that once you set the settings in the BIOS and you reboot you don't lose all your settings and have to do this over and over so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go right click on the speaker I'm gonna go volume control and sounds and we can see that it installed everything so that uh, the headphones work, the HDMI output works, and the high definition speakers work. So everything is working right now. And I'm going to click on the speakers one more time just so you can hear it. 
prove that I definitely did fix it. Hey, what happened? Why didn't it come on? All right, I'm sure that's gonna save people a lot of time and aggravation. And again, I don't expect anybody to leave a donation. So, uh, but if you want to, if you wanna leave me big bucks, that would be awesome. Somebody who, uh, who's computer illiterate, who's got a million dollars, feel free to leave that on my PayPal. Um, and what else is there? So again, check out my other video if this doesn't get everything working and the other video will show you how to fix the rest of this uh please thumbs up subscribe a like it helps me a lot and there are lots of people who run into this problem i cannot transcribe everything in this video for closed caption so for the people that can't get their speakers working to hear how to fix this please get in here and start typing in the stuff on the closed caption thing and help everybody out thanks for watching people see ya